All right, let's take a quick look at how Smarter Together works. So you've got your class full of students. You probably have more than five, but we'll, for the sake of simplicity, just use a class of five here. You'll see their convenient names right down here at the bottom. And what you're going to do is give all of them some crayons. Here I gave each of my students three different crayons. Then what they have to do is they need to make a decision about how many to donate. So let's make a donation. You can see here that Abe and Cece and Dee Dee each decided to donate one of their crayons. Mr. E decided to give away two and the Beebs kept all those crayons for himself. Now the way the game works, the way the activity works is that you take those donated crayons and you double them. So now we've got twice as many and we're just going to distribute these crayons to all of the different students. So when we distribute those crayons, you see that everybody gets two of them. If you've got some remainders, you can just distribute those as you see fit. But the situation they end up with is an interesting one. The Beebs, who gave the least, ended up with the most. Mr. E, who gave the most, ended up with the least. This is a really classic example of the free rider problem where people can just not make a donation but benefit from the contributions of others. And your students are going to see if they can come up with a rule which will help overcome this problem and make a situation so that everyone comes out with the best possible outcome together. So enjoy figuring that out.